All right, so today we're gonna be starting Dying Light. Dying Light has been one of my favorite zombie games of all time. Uh, next to, you know, Dead Rising. Dead Rising is also one of my favorite horror games as far as zombies is all time. This game has a special place in my heart, especially for the multiplayer. The multiplayer always stole my heart, as well as the following. So today we're gonna start this off because I don't wanna do overtime mode for Dead Rising because I raged three times so far. <laughs> trying to do all the fetch quest stuff because I can't be sneaky going through these guards. So we're going to go ahead and start up Dying Light. Uh, I figured I would do this game and then I'll do the second one down the line. I'm going to do Dead Rising 1, 2, 3, and 4. Don't worry about that, but I'm going to be doing Dying Light to kind of break up the Dying Light or the Dead Island game or Dead Rising games. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and see. Do I want to be built or do I want to... Do a, I'll do a fresh game because I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, let's see. Do I want to change character when I get into the game? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game as Kyle. Uh, can I delete this save? Yeah, I'll delete both of them. And then we'll just go ahead and start a new game. I have a bunch of the DLC skins too, which are pretty funny to look at. And eh, we'll play on normal. This game has a, like I said, this game has a special place in my heart. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Hopefully my PC will be okay Data with this. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman Is this game too loud, by the way? If it's too death. loud, I can turn it down. He stole a highly right sensitive moment. file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, ten seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Is this a cutscene or is... Yeah, this is a cutscene. I thought this was gameplay. It's a cutscene. I remember this being a gameplay cutscene though, like a real-time cutscene. I think that's what the original Dead Island game or Dead wasn't a Dying Light games. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up, all of you. Oh shit! Oh. Loud noises draw them. Damn! They're kicking my ass. Fall back. Fall back! Oh shit. Get the door open! Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No, a 
Mir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. That's one way to get into it. Yeah, I might need to turn the audio for the game down for y'all. Because the game is loud. <laughs> it's a loud game. I already have OBS down mixed to like five, negative five decibels, but I try to keep it like at five or nine. Five or nine, that's where I try to keep it. Hopefully my computer is okay with this game. Because it seems like certain games have issues and my computer will crash. And then shut everything off. So hopefully that isn't the case. Let's see how this goes. I also had the background orange to match the theme of the game because the game's theme is orange and white, but you I chose to do him. just orange. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. Do it. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if oh he's boy. a zombie? Ah! Zombie, run! No, I'm not. <sighs> it don't take more than that to get me. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do dying die, or dead rising and then dying light, and then we're gonna do go back to dead rising. Hopefully, OBS wants to keep up with this. Okay, the game is moving pretty quick. Go ahead. Uh, controls will bring my sensitivity down. Mm. Oh, audio. We'll put it like right there. Let's see. All this stuff is good. Uh, all right. Audio is adjusted properly, so we can go ahead and keep going. Let's go. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. Yes, sir. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Okay. So far, it runs... 31. Oh. That's your number. My frame time is looking bad. I need to get a new cooler. Too dangerous. And he'll die because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti scene. We're just getting picked up. And one you are one. Crane. Uh, 31. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head? Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right. Let's go see the boss man then. It's a little choppy. It's not too bad though. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Okay. Let's see. There we go. I had to change. I changed the setting. Let's see. Nothing else in here. It looks rough in certain edges. Hey, I'm looking for the. Are you the boss? What? Am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No. I. You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know my runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. 
So now you take the Anderson meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not... I'm not lazy. I'm just... Hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave and come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Damn. Kind of rough about it. All right. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Lazy assholes, he said. Damn. The hell is going on with my frame rate? Oh, that's why. My damn CPU is using like 90% almost. Using 80%. Almost at a full load on this game. Uh, maybe I should turn V-Sync on. Where are you? Oh, that just looks worse. Okay. Uh. Who makes those airdrops anyway? That's not where I go. That's not where I go either. The town still has electricity, but for how long? Oh, my temperature. It's at almost 60 already. Yep. Mm. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Yeah. My frame rate not looking too good. Jesus. How many people died here? Oh boy. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. All right. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP. Help! Had you. Help! Somebody! What the hell? Uh oh. Aha! Finally, I got a pipe. <laughs> Go down. Actually, I'll turn V-Sync back off. Yeah, that's better. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it. That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Oh, I don't have a flashlight yet, do I? Don't jump scare me, please. Okay. Sounds like there is something in there for sure. Okay, take care of Mark. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. 
He's ready. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. CPU is sitting at like a nice 50. Eh. What happens when you only have a stock cooler? I need to put an actual good one on it. Let's see. Middle mouse. Okay, that's what it was. There we go. Now I can surge. Okay, cool. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Alcohol. Duct tape. Go check out this room here. More duct tape. I'll take that. Duct tape. I'll take that. First aid kit, give me that. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Nothing else. Good thing I decided to keep looking. Oh boy. Open up the fridge, see if there's anything in the fridge. Give me that. Oh boy. Hmm. It's steamy. It's steamy up here. Let's go check on the Mark guy. Alright, let's go ahead and go help him. Oh boy. Oh, buddy. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. They said he was cut, but... Well done, 31. Just make sure he isn't bitten. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Why is the elevator an actual, like, door? Okay. Things are getting worse and worse. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. Yes, ma'am. No explosives, Rahim. Okay. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the main outfit. Okay. I guess I'll go change if he wants me to. Okay. Pull the mic a little closer. Let's see. Let's go ahead and head back here. That's the bathroom. There it is. Fresh clothes. Then there's... Oh. Oh, okay. I don't get any of my DLC stuff until after the tutorial. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. 
So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. All right. Go ahead and check that out then. Oh, I have to go all the way around. Things are getting worse and worse. How are zombies? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Parkour basics. I already know, baby. Just move and move. All you gotta do. Aha. Crane on a crane. This is such a beautiful game, even like, was it like nine years later? This game came out in what? 2015? Welcome to our gym. Like eight, first nine years? First, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Oh boy. Just do what I say, all right? Now. I don't see if my microphone is speaking or not. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Fuck off. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. <laughs> Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! I was just fucking with you. Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a job? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Okay. Yeah, baby! Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. All right. Keep in mind, I'm playing this on PC. So, my computer's cooling isn't at its finest right now. It's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Jump up top. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Even running OBS though, you get quite the performance. What? Even with OBS though, you get hit with quite a performance hit. Not bad. For a noob. Alright. Get up on that scaffold, and don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no- That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Huh? Oh, I see it. They have a stamina system in two, I think, so it's not the same as it is. They made it a little more difficult to do just parkour tricks. And follow this down and then do the turning jump. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <sighs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. What is happening to me? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Talk to me. What's going on? 
Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Oh shit. All right. It's not letting me run anymore. There we go. What? That did no damage, though. That's bullshit. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before right. you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. All right. Let's go give that a check out then. Wow. This game don't run too bad. Okay. So far it's going well. It's going well. Yeah. I wanted to do right. overtime You've mode. Given me an actual oh. job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Hmm. Yeah, I have to build up some courage before I get back into overtime mode for Dead Rising 1 because to, that true ending can wait. I'm just every time I go to have to do it, I get pissed. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days. But here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antis. By which I mean. The people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. Huh. Bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, All right. if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> All right, brother. Oh. Elemental C4 blueprint. Bonus docket. Bonus docket? Oh, I can redeem these for items. What is it going to give me? Elemental C4 bundle. What is this one going to give me? King. We use a premium one. Rusty French wrench. I'll wait until I level up to use that now. It used to be a really nice town, you know. Oh, not that way. Going outside, yeah. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay. Okay, noob. Oh, I got a legendary wrench. I'm in a semi trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Oh. 
That was pretty fairly easy to get to. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? <sighs> it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Okay. All right. So... Keep it fast. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you, for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey Spike, I'm Crane. <sighs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good start to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. With that, peace. I had a hiccup.